Hello everyone, my name is Isaac Segundo and welcome to iSharePoint All. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the settings of the Microsoft Forms. In my previous videos, I talked about what mark, what uh, branch. In my previous video, I talked about branching, how it works, and how to use it. Well, I'm going to be talking about the settings. Um, the settings is pretty important as well. So, in the settings, you have who can fill this form out. Now, if you notice in the responses, let me go back to my responses. If you go to some of these details, it has who, it has my name. Now, what if you wanted this to be anonymous? So, in the settings, if you click settings, you can say don't record a name. Uh, or you can have just one, if you wanted somebody, if you wanted an individual to fill out the form just one per person, then you can check that. So let me do this and let's let's go fill out a form and see what happens. So if I come here, uh, let's say, oops, let me do a preview. Preview form. Okay. So I do that. I say mint. Um, do something here. Okay, so if I go back, if I go back and I look at the responses, so I do details, as you can see, Mint, it's anonymous, it didn't capture my name because of that option that I chose in the settings. So let me go back to settings. So also, um, you can accept responses, you can have a start date, an end date, um, you can customize a thank you message. So, um, so basically, you put in your message here and it, message here, and it gets sent back to the user with whatever your thank you message is. You can have, if you wanted to get an email notification for each response, you can do that here. You can get a response. So. Let's go back to this accept responses. So if I uncheck this, you're basically saying, you know what, the, the form, no need to fill out the form anymore. So I can say, um, survey uh, it's complete. So let me do this. Let's go back, do a preview. So I come in here and I say, you know, cherry. Test. See, this form is closed. Survey complete. So that's what that setting does. Let's go back here. Go back to settings. Uh, you can, as I said, customize the thank you letter. You can have a start date of when the survey um, should start. And you can put in a date of when it should end. So it'll automatically disable the link or make the form not appear. So that's all with the settings. Um, in the next video, I'm going to show how to share this form. I'm going to show how to share the form and how to embed it within a SharePoint page. So thanks for watching this video and come back for more. Bye.